It's April 7th, 2017, and the brand new brushless Aurora 68mm FPV racing drone has arrived. This is the latest FPV racing drone from Esheen. They came out with the Aurora 90mm FPV racing drone not that long ago, followed up by the 100mm Aurora FPV racing drone, and now they have gone so much smaller, it's not even funny. I mean, look at this 68mm FPV racing drone, smaller than the Chaser 88, smaller than the Bat 90. This thing is using 1102 brushless motors here with a 11500 kV rating. So that's an 1102 brushless motor right there. The Chaser 88 is using an 1103 brushless motor. And of course the Aurora 100 and Aurora 90 use 1104 brushless motors. Now this 7.4 volt 400 milliamp battery is really small, really thin, really tiny. And it um, uses this little connector on here. Now I I repurposed this battery with the same connector because I'm only going to get about three minutes worth of flight from this aircraft. And the battery that the Aurora 100 uses and the Aurora 90 uses, it's, you know, a 7.4 volt, 450 milliamp battery, but it is just too heavy and too wide to really work with this aircraft. You can fly with the other battery, but it's going to take just too much throttle out of this aircraft. But I have gone through beta flight and uh, programmed this to have a horizon mode and an angle mode. I think this is a really good indoor racer and probably a really nice outdoor racer. We're going to try it in um, acrobatic mode today outdoors, and we're going to try maybe a little indoor flight with uh, the horizon mode. I put a little rubber band here that actually wraps around the camera because I'm not a big fan of this camera mount they've been using. I like it, but it just has a piece of double-sided uh, sticky tape that holds the camera onto that piece of metal so it can get really, you know, shaky and a lot of vibration in it. So I have actually put little rubber bands around, you know, these little cameras so that they will stay you know, in place instead of shaking. Another real nice thing about this Esheen Aurora 68mm FPV racing drone is they have revamped the receiver. I don't know if you can see it there, but the failsafe works properly on this. I had to replace the receiver on this to get the failsafe to work on the Esheen Aurora 100, but let's go ahead and plug this battery in and test out our three minutes of flight with this Aurora Esheen 68mm brushless FPV racing drone with on on screen display. Let's see how she flies. Let's plug in our battery. There we go. Helps to have two rubber bands on the bottom. Really helps keep the uh, aircraft level. Nice little tail light strip there. Make sure our throttle works. Go ahead and raise the throttle. Turn the transmitter off. Make sure the failsafe works. Yep, failsafe works. Okay, let's go ahead and start recording our video stream here. Right. See our voltage is at 8.3. Let's go ahead and see how she flies. Armed. Okay, I'm starting off in uh, angle mode here. Let's go to acrobatic mode, full speed, full throttle. Uh, it says it's in horizon. Sorry. There you go. There is acrobatic mode, and we are moving. This thing is moving very, very smooth. Oh, I like this. I like this. Easy turns. Let's try a hard turn. All right, see if we can line up with the canopy and go through made it on through our voltage is already dropping down to 6.8 6.7 6.6 6 .6. so this flight is not going to last very long but man this is a nice flight see if i can line up with the canopy and make it through yep definitely working great in aerobatic mode here got a lot of speed i could probably push a little more speed out of it I really don't want to kill the battery too quick. The video looks great, getting a really good clean signal. Rubber band stopping some of that shake. Oh, barely missed that tree there. All right, let's see if we can go through some of these 
trees over here. Handles real nice. Could be going a lot faster. Definitely, definitely flying great. Tiny little aircraft, lots of speed, lots of power. Don't got to register with the FAA. 6.4, 6.5 volts, so our flight is not going to last much longer. And if I start pushing them really hard, I will drain the battery out a lot quicker. But I mean, he's, let's see if we can go through the canopy here. Yes, we can. So you can do a hard turn. Let's go up over this way. Maybe go through the trees a little bit. Very smooth, nice aerobatic flight here. Great range with this camera, too. I'm on a really good, clean channel today and getting good, good range. I mean, just really excellent aircraft here, Isheen. Okay, we're dropping below 6.4 volts, 6.1, 6.0. We're going to go ahead and bring her in for landing because it's going to start beeping at me with that low voltage. There we go. There's our low voltage. Our low voltage has kicked in and our beeper has started beeping at us. So let's go grab our aircraft and take a look. Where are you? Where are you? You should be beeping at me. Beep at me. Beep at me. Beep at me. It should be beeping at me, but I do not hear it beeping at me. The signal's getting cleaner. Oh, there it is. I hear it now. There he is. And he's beeping at me. Oh, he just stopped beeping at me. Battery voltage just, just dropped out low. Something about an aircraft being 68 millimeters in size means it is a little bit more difficult to find. So what do I think after my first flight with the Eugene Aurora 68 millimeter FPV aircraft? Hell yeah, I think this is an awesome little aircraft. It actually flies better than the Eugene Aurora 90. It's not quite as peppy as the Chaser 88. This thing has some super hard turns. And the Aurora 100, I mean, is a really nice aircraft. This thing can turn super hard and line up a super good hard line. But I mean, this thing is tiny. It gets about the same amount of flight time. Got the protected rotors on it, the nice little antenna protector there. I mean, that is a really nice flight experience. multiple versions of the Aurora 68 available. There's the Fly Sky version so you can use your Tyrannus transmitter. There's the Fly Sky version so you can use your Fly Sky transmitter. And there's the DSM-2, DSM-X version so you can use your Spectrum transmitter. And of course this aircraft is programmed with Betaflight. It's got a nice little flight controller on here. And if you want to reprogram this aircraft you can see the serial port right there on the front of the flight controller and it actually comes with two really nice serial port to USB adapters here. I really like this one. It's a USB mini to a serial port adapter. So you plug that into the aircraft and then you plug a USB mini cable into this. Or you can just use this nice one right here, which is a full size USB cable with a serial adapter on the other end of it. So you can just plug the serial adapter straight into the aircraft, plug the aircraft into beta flight and go through and tweak the settings, rename the aircraft, change the PID settings, add different modes, change the light settings, and all types of different things. So 
definitely worth checking out the Ishin Aurora 68mm brushless FPV racing drone. You can pick one of these up on banggood.com. Definitely a good flight experience. I think they have really done their homework on these FPV racing drones. As always, we appreciate you guys tuning in to RC 101 with the Dallas Flyer. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more.